Joe Short here and 10,000 batches ago we brewed up Short's Brewing Company. We're celebrating a year in our temporary office trailer over here. All of us are very excited about what we're about to show you. But before we do that, we're going to take a peek at what we've been up to for the last 5,000 batches. So come on, take a look. So today's the day we're doing batch 5,000. So you were one of the brewers that mashed it in, right? I am. And uh, how does this beer look different from uh, your normal, say, Humalupalicious with the IPA and the malt and the cops and the kettles and the hoit and my even? Let's just say a lot of everything. Have you had it yet? I have. And? Uh, prepare your face, that's all I can say. Prepare your face. All right, so I'm here with Tony Hansen. He's the uh, director of brewing here at Shorts. Tony, what was the inspiration for the recipe design for Batch 5000? The inspiration was really taking a look back at the early days. Um, you know, when we hit batch 5,000, it made me think of how special it is to actually reach this point. Uh, there's a lot of uh, tales of survival of the early days that came to mind. And uh, every year we used to celebrate uh, our survival with a huge IPA or double IPA at the anniversary party. So I wanted to harness all the power uh, from all of the killer IPAs that we've made in the past and package it all into one beer so that's what we have with batch 5000. All right so I'm here with Steve Eisen. Steve is the uh, longest running Shorts Brewing Company employee uh, to date. He's been here uh, through all of the changes. So Steve, um, first 22 ounce package here in Elk Rapids. How do you feel about um, this beer, this package, considering our humble beginnings with the hand labels and all that jazz. Well, it's pretty amazing. It's uh, it's been a long time coming. I'm glad uh, to be here through it all, and I'm excited. I've not tried the beer yet, so I'm excited to try the beer. But I'm more excited to see it get in the bottles and get it out so the masses can try it as well. One. Okay, batch 5,000. Fire in the hole. First one off the line. You've been at this a long time. Oh, I know, this is fantastic. And how excited are you about today? I am totally excited. Goosebumps on top of my goosebumps on top of those goosebumps. That's how excited I am. Let's go find out what everybody remembers. Who thought the end? 10,000 batch milestones. Walking through, getting feedback from everyone because we've reached the 10,000 batch milestone. So do you, okay, first off, who are you and what do you do? Um, I'm Larry Insel. I do a little bit of everything. Uh, Working, shipping, and receiving. So, do you have a uh, milestone memory since your employment here? Um, I don't know. Probably one of my favorite things was the new theater, but specifically the one we were making on campus. It's a good We have a campus. Thanks, man. Yeah, Are you going to join us? Yeah, sure. Come on.
time. And uh, I hope that you beer. Short beer. Daily ass kicker. So have you had the batch 10,000 yet? I have had the batch 10,000. What do you think? I thought it was great. Delicious. Uh, so we're very excited to be celebrating 10,000 batches. Do you have a milestone memory since you started working here that you'd like to share to help celebrate 10,000 Um, Probably my the best milestone memory I can think of is when we got this new uh, cleaner right here uh, last fall. Um, we've been able to uh, more than quadruple our output of cans per day. And, uh, and higher quality. And higher quality on the street and everything. And, uh, and learning how to run this bad boy was definitely a milestone for me. It's like the Lamborghini of canning I would call it that. Are you going to join us outside? Yeah, I'll, I'll join you guys. Ladies and gentlemen, we have Joe Potter here. Oh. So Joe, can you tell us what uh, you do here? Uh, yeah, we do uh, an awesome stuff. Yeah. Um, we monitor the beer um, everywhere from brew house to package, just to make sure that it works as well as the best product. No awesome. bad beer spankings. So have you had the batch 10,000? Uh, about two. Room real clean. Let's see how we do it. So, um, you've been uh, with us for several years. Just about. A couple different uh, windows. Yes. Do you have a milestone memory uh, that you'd like to share to help us celebrate 10,000 matches more? Uh, I think my best milestone is getting the brand new filler, uh, the 2017 Psychedelic Cat The 24-7, the 24-hour. <laughs> Lucky. Awesome. Are you going to join us for the rest of the walk? Yeah. Okay. Sure. Come on. Perfect timing. Ladies and gentlemen, I've got Al Russell and Andy over here. And uh, well, what, can you guys tell us what you do? Sellermen. Sellermen. They're like the beer doctors. Take care of the beer when it's in the tanks. Carbonated. So we're celebrating 10,000 batches. Both of you guys have been here for a considerable amount of time. Do you have a uh, milestone memory that you'd like to share to help us celebrate 10,000 batches of beer? Here's the question. I think it was the addition of all the tank space here. We brought it all the to tanks, and of course we got the big tanks outside. So it's 2016? 2016 is to get the big tanks outside. Okay. Yeah. What about you, Andy? Adding the blender. Adding the blender. Oh. Yeah, it really helps us uh, cut down the time it takes us to take uh, the fermented beer and get it right in the back and make the floor awesome. Oh, yeah. Are you guys going to join us on the tour? Thanks, yeah. Awesome. Cool. Let's go check in with Aaron. So, this is Aaron Smith. Aaron, what do you do here at Shorts? I am a professional. And you're probably one of the men that helped create Batch 10,000. Absolutely. So we're excited to celebrate 10,000 batches. Do you have a milestone memory that you can share with us to help add to our story? Sure, I've got a couple of things. All right. Yeah, all over the all around increased production yes. here in the brew house. Yes. So we recently added a second brew kettle that works in tandem with the one we originally had. Yeah, that guy right there. Right there. We've continued to modify and evolve our brewing practices to make sure our time here in the brew house is the most efficient. So like what? Now you're good. Good. <laughs> so just the addition of the different ingredients and things like that. Okay. And making sure that our time here is uh, spent as efficiently as possible. As a result of those things, we've added three very large fermentation vessels. That's what we're building up to right now. Are you going to join some of the two or do you guys keep an eye on this bad uh, Obviously, I have seen that. Okay. We're going to let Aaron do his thing. Let's finish the tour. Come on, everybody! We're celebrating the Just an added highlight. Uh, not many people get to see the removal of the spent grain. The spent grain is usually held up there. 
We're gearing up to give you the grand finale of the tour. Uh, Tony Hansen, our head production brewer, our director of liquids. Um, we're gonna go uh, do a shot from up top to show you what's behind you, um, which is our new tank and office edition. Um, and we're gonna celebrate 10,000 batches. So we're celebrating 10,000 batches. Yes. And you've been here for over a year now? Almost one year. Do you have a milestone memory or just a, a, a good memory to share with us to help us celebrate 10,000 batches? Finishing the can line was, was a big day. It's a common theme with the can line. A lot, lot of work. It was a really fun job. Lots awesome. to do. It was super cool, but that was a big day for me anyways. You're um, not alone. Yeah. <laughs> All right, will you bring us up? I can do cool. that. Thank you. All right. All right, so I'm um, here with Tony. Uh, we're chatting about the batch 10,000. Tony, can you tell us a little bit about the recipe and what inspired it? The recipe was intended to be a super high octane, intense root IPA. It's really well balanced with the sweetness of the mango and tartness of the black currant. It's got a really killer hop bill and uh, it's potent. It's a sipper. What's the ABV? 14.2. So it's, it's a good. It's like three beers in every drink. It's a very good contemplation beer to sit and sip and just think about what the hell happened. Five thousand batch. A beer to be inspired by. Very much so. So what you're seeing here is the uh, the 2018 2019 Tank and Office Edition. So right there on that mezzanine is uh, the new offices. That's where. All of us are excited to get out of the double wide. And then we're really excited because we have this uh, third level mezzanine. Allows us to really get a nice bird's eye view of Elk Rapids. Some of you may not know that our production facility is nestled in between three lakes. Bass Lake, Elk Lake, and uh, Lake Michigan, Grand Traverse Bay. So there's 150 of us strong. We got some people toughing out the cold weather down there. So on behalf of uh, all of us here at Shorts Brewing Company, we're very excited to celebrate 10,000 batches with you, and we hope you get some of this tremendous, tremendous beer. Um, so cheers! Cheers! cheers.